Is this for a ball pop? That's what I thought. I was yeah. like, <laughs> huh? <laughs> All right. Welcome, everyone. We're gonna see Party One versus Moke, Merc Jones. Looks like a Moke check, I think. Moke Jones. Unless. Oh no, yeah, that's right. My brain still is not accepting. Uh, if you if you see the on the move list, there's a blue bar. That means it's a it's a super that uses the defensive gauge. No, like it's a. It's, it's just saying it's a, it's a defense art. Yeah, no, he has to get hit. It's a counter. Arn, Arn has to get hit with his counter to use his defensive gauge. Yeah, there's a... Oh, yeah, there's a win blocking. But or Orville also says while yeah, taking a, damage. There's one win on getting hit by the counter as well. <laughs> yep. There goes Round one going to Vossar Draken. Yeah, Vossar Draken. Boss playing against the hardy one today. Yeah, Vossar Draken knows how to play. Knows the basics of Zarn. Knows his really good Rekka. Knows he's got really good options. He's, he's hitting the DP a little too much. But it is very effective DP. Like, it's a very good one. Mm -hmm. so he, there's Ganagen, uh, which is great. That's why you use it, Ganagen. Because you could just start doing all manner of disgusting stuff. But that, if you see him do an extra spin with his fireball, um, it gets an extra heavier hit. Yeah. I know, see? That beat. Block the overhead. That's the crazy thing about that, Rekka, is you could decide, oh, he's gonna block? I, mean, it, I don't know. It's really funny forward. that Beatrice is quarter circle forward, eat punch, uh, eat projectiles. Yeah. Yep, OTGs. That's actually one thing good about her, is her OTGs are very good options. Yeah. I think it might be her green. Her critical lets her do a time stop, but I might be wrong. Lock low, nice. No punish, though. Uh-oh, he got hit by it. Yeah, that's all the meter. It's gonna be a long uphill battle. Oh, but that's gonna hit. Yep, shit damage. Yeah, it is their block ball, but. Round one going to Vossa Dragon. Yep. Yeah, you you get to pick your color. Why? Because that's what you get for being second in Gundam. Or for technically, I would have done first, but I, I, I was. So I was giving the... these out to people. I successfully updated the stream to reflect that we were playing Rumblefish 2. Yeah. People are like, who? Cheryl's your character, I think. Um, she's got a lot of setup stuff, and uh, one of her moves just let her hover in the air with her strength. So, like, and yet you can do those setups, you know? Yeah, her normals are a bit weird. You can do this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Yes. Yeah, her sweep is so funny because it just is her using her strings to do a weird swinging low. Oh, got the combo. That was a lot of damage. Oh. Oh no! I think, it, oh. I think it was because the target marks were down. Yeah. It might have passed well, them out. Yeah, no, so it, uh, he had done a projectile which went back and forth and the super was hitting. Mm. So it was both, both an attack and the, the super. Oh, no punish. Oh, got hit by the overhead. Oh, good hit again. Oh, he went for the super. Wow. And it worked out. Overhead. Just went with a meaty punch. The block, the block. Girl's guard is real low, too. Yeah. Hey, that's two. That's it. Alrighty, Blue Mage. Oh, I gotta give stickers at least to everyone who played in the Gundam. Yeah.